Hello. I guess this is working. I'm... I'm warm. And, uh, you know, I have a problem. There's nothing really I want to not play. But we're going to try it anyway. Because uh, I guess the, the poo butts over at Rock Paper Shotgun went and made something called Let's Not Play. And they're like, oh, twiddly dumb, twiddly deep. A Let's Not Play is funny. You know, because fucking, first of all, like people from Britain and Scotland and whatever are, aren't real and they all speak in limerick and the, the like fucking Mary Poppins and shit. That's how they all are. And so basically their thing is like, well, let's not play is when you, you run the game and you try not to play, and uh, that's what you do. And it's like, it's just like, you know, sorry, your typical stupid shit. So I figure I make a new video because people are like, hey, they're taking your word. They're taking my word away from me. They're stealing my identity. So um, I figure I do one sort of on... It's really hard looking at this camera. I I figured I'd put in the video because I know how, but it's probably not a good idea. But I'm doing it anyway. Um, the main thing I wanted to talk about was Dragon Age Inquisition. Because Dragon Age Inquisition is kind of an interesting game in a way, and gets into this whole like herp derp. Hey, we're gonna go fucking sit around in Far Cry and like not actually play the game and like do wildlife appreciation we'll call that let's not play it'd be really funny because it's like the fucking you know the entirety of games is not play it's like you, you don't have to be a dumbass about it it's like when the fucking high scoreboard comes up or when the level's loading like yeah you're not playing the game but it's still the game you know and just because a game has moments in it where you're exploring or something, I mean, you can, if you really want to be a dickhead about it, you'd be like, well, that's not play. But it, it really is. The play encompasses the totality of everything you do in the game, whether it's boring or not. Like, I could warp to my house right now, while I don't have an Aetherite, so I'll warp to my guild house. Also, the video covers the chat box, because everyone else in these MMO videos likes to cover their fucking chat boxes. I failed the uh, skill jump there, and I'm gonna cover my fucking chat box too, okay? So, like, we're gonna not play the game. Granted, MMOs are a genre where you never play. Like, fucking MMOs, the majority of what you do in MMOs is work. So here, a little dumb. Oops, I gotta do something here. Uh, it's so fucking sweet, I'll put that on. Update here, so... Okay, so... Alright, there we go. My character's fucking showering, I'm not playing anymore. I get to sit like this, I can change my pose, you know, you can change your fucking, oops, change your, uh, oops, I took a picture, change your fucking head direction, alright, that's funny, right? So, the reason why I to talk about Dragon Age Inquisition is because of so fucking long. I don't hate it. I think it's fine. I even think the stuff where typically I didn't like it in other games, like the political stuff, and I, I feel like an idiot going like, oh, having gay characters in a game is political, but in a way it is. It shouldn't be, but it, it's a political statement, which I don't like saying because I have nothing but no problem with it being in the game at all. But, um, that's how it is. So, so those kind of things I think are done very well. Like, the gay characters in the game are really, like, likeable and written in very well. And they handle those issues in a way where it's... I can make myself bigger, I guess. I 
can I do that? Like, we'll just lay me down here. Yeah, we'll go back to up there, or here. All right, there we go. So, <laughs> my character shadows more than I do, by the way. So, it's like, a lot of stuff in Inquisition is good, but it's got a bunch of fucking MMO filler. And I think people have been talking about it. I'll talk about it, because you guys are crying, blah, 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 and make stupid fucking videos on YouTube and bullshit. Um, so, you know, the filler doesn't bother me, really. Like, it bothers me in that I feel like I need to do it. But, you know, I, I've slowly gotten over that. It just, it doesn't feel fun. It feels like filler. It's very definitely filler, and you do it, and it's not rewarding or anything, and that might be as confusing for people who haven't played as many long hours of MMOs to understand, or RPGs in general, but, like, there are things where they are, um, let's go out. There, there are certain things in games that are not what you would call traditionally fun. Like, um, there was a lot of stuff in Daggerfall, for example, that was really not fun, you know? Or, you know, horror games. There are times when a horror game will, like, have you go through this area and it's not fun because you're scared. I mean, you're enjoying the game and maybe you're not necessarily terrified. I would be because I'm a huge pussy. I'm bad with those games. Um, so, I, I don't know. The filler in... And I'm really rambling here, but this is what's going up. If someone fucking asked for another one, and this is what's going up. So, you know, you have yourself to blame, idiot. Um, you know, you have filler in these games, and, like, it either can be compelling or not. Like, you could do a lot of shit. Like, all this furniture I built, right? This is completely optional content. This is not the game. Like, is designing a virtual house a game? Probably not. But this is, it's the game and it's not the game. You know, the game really is fucking going into dungeons, right? You go into a dungeon, here we go. We're not gonna fucking, because I don't wanna deal with the idiots, you know? but here I have a dummy. So you hit the dummy, and you try to do max maximize your damage. And you maximize your damage because certain enemies need, like, need you to do maximal damage. Right. So it's like, that's, this is the game in a very rough sense, is combat. Like, that's how you interact with the world generally. And, right, okay. But then there are other things, like, you could go sightseeing, for example, right? Like, there's a sightseeing one. See, I haven't done any of this because I have, like, no interest in it. My brother does this shit because he finds it fun. He likes to be a completionist. You can also get pets. Yeah, yeah, this pet, and he's worth a lot of money, because if you type slash beckon, he'll come up and go on your shoulder. That's great. Yeah, that's great. You know, and it's fun because it's fun. You know, it's fun to have a monkey on your shoulder, and it's fun because other people see it and they get jealous. Like, this little, this little piece of shit is... Let's see, how much does he cost? This little piece of shit's a million gil. A million gil, man. A million fucking gil. And you can see people bought them for around a million gil, right? So, so that would cost, if you, let's say you were a complete loser and you couldn't just, you know, uh, take, extract gold from all the people in this game who already buy gil, then, and you bought your own gil, it still would be like, you know, like two bucks or something. So it's like, there's meaning to it, there's rarity to it, so it's fun because of that. And in Inquisition, none of it feels that way. Like, getting all the tablets, for example, gives you nothing and provides nothing. And while there are some optional dungeons and stuff, the items you get are garbage compared to crafted items. And there's no real reason to do it, you know, and um, I'm talking about the Elven Sword Quest in Dragon Age, which was not very creative, but you look at what they did as sort of additional content, and it's not fun, 
and that's all there is to it. You know, people want to be like, oh, it has a filler problem. It has a, uh, oh, they just, you know, they stretched it too thin. They were doing this, they were doing that. And what it really was, they were, they tried to do MMO shit, and they didn't make it compelling. You know, and the game plays very, and they've always, the series has always played like MMOs, but they produced this filler stuff and they didn't make it compelling. And you look at, um, you know, there's a difference between content and filler, and it's not a lot. It's whether you find it fun. Like, I'm sure some jerk off with like a dictionary of gaming terms will come at me and disagree, but I think the main difference between content and filler is if you enjoy it. And fucking like anything can be content. Like, I have a garden. It's really fun. Like, it's fucking stupid. It's stupid how much fun I am managing a fake garden in Final Fantasy XIV. And maybe, maybe I have some soft spots in my brain. Maybe I was, like, dropped on the head as a kid. I don't know. I don't know what, like, genetic, physical, mental failing makes me enjoy gardening in Final Fantasy, but I do. So that's content. If I hope they add more garden shit next patch. It's really fun. You click on these things, and you fucking hit fertilize crop, and you select your fertilizer, and it's like, I'm having the fucking time of my life here, you know? And in Inquisition never accomplishes that. They add mounts. The mounts are zero fun. They are zero fun. You don't get any sense of speed. They look bad. They're not enjoyable. You know, a lot of stuff wasn't implemented well. And I like the game. It's just, you know, it's just sort of discouraging when you see this game. And it's like game of the year and it's fucking 9.5 everywhere. And then people actually are like, hey, why, why does this first zone suck so much? And people have to go like, well, you leave the first zone. Like, in fucking MMOs, for time and memorial, like, you would go to a zone, and you would do every single fucking thing, usually. Like, I can think of exceptions with Baldur's Gate and, uh... Someone sent me a tell. And, uh, other things like that. Also, the music in this game is really relaxing, isn't it? Um... Baller's Gate and stuff like that, you know. I really lost my train of thought there. Uh, it's a good thing no one's paying me for these, huh? But, um, you know, you go to his own in Baldur's Gate and you pretty much clear it out. You know, you pretty much clear it out. And I think, with the exception of, like, certain optional areas, like, I remember The Witcher, I think, in the early zones, you could very easily walk into a bad zone, but, you know, you kind of caught up with what the developers were doing, and you went on this line, and, you know, and you did everything, but if you, when you go into the Hinterlands in Dragon Age, or any of the other zones, like, people act like it's a problem with just the Hinterlands, but there are two options, I think, ultimately, you have with Inquisition. You just do the story content and finish the fucking story and be done with it. Fine. Or, you do... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone's talking to me on Mumble. Two. Hold on. Making awful YouTube video. Be right back. Now, this is probably a fucking evidence. This is running a little long. 13 minutes. Oh, I guess I'll try to. <laughs> Man, if you watch this thing, fucking jokes on you, huh? Fucking jokes on you, dummy. Why do you watch this? So, <laughs> the, uh, like, my basic point is with Inquisition. It just. It's like long, long in the tooth. I don't even know if I'm using that right. But it's just like you have this optional shit and it's not very well thought out. And there's ways to make stupid optional shit that doesn't require a lot of dev time. Like, oh god, like look at these stupid claws I got. Those took me forever to get. And they were like grindy and awful and brutal. But I had fun doing it, more or less. And I enjoy the final product, even if I haven't properly put the stats on them and I'm like a piece of human garbage for that. You know, there, there are ways to do things and make grindy stuff fun. I did Insane in the Membrane in World of Warcraft. I really enjoyed that because it was just brutal enough. But a lot of the stuff in Inquisition is just a little mind-numbing. I think that's the problem. And it's just irritating to me 
like, oh, it's, got, no, just leave the hinterlands. No, that's the problem. It's like, oh, you've got, no, it's got a filler problem. It's this, it's that, and all these people trying to make conclusions, which I'm sure are all wrong, because, like, fucking everyone who talks about video games is an idiot, yours truly included. But the, the fact is, like, I'm an idiot with maybe a little insight, and it's just that it's a little mind-numbing. And the game will fucking improve in wildly in quality if you just skip this content filler, whatever you want to call it. And it'll just, it'll just get better. And it's, it's their fault, you know? But overall, because they didn't make a fucking piece of shit like Dragon Age 2, they probably had to bribe people less for the 9.5, so, like, a victory for them, honestly. I'm really happy for them that they made gay characters that don't feel like they're in there as fucking jack-off material. They made, um, bi characters who are, like, sort of, like, interesting and meaningful rather than just, like, sort of in-game sex slaves for, like lonely people and it's like they're it's fine if you want like a game like that but it's like buddy there's specific like porno games for that for like emo emotionally manipulating yourself into thinking you have a relationship with a cat girl it's like just buy those fucking games and that that was my issue all along with uh dragon age 2 but inquisition is better and but it doesn't have a, a filler problem it has a content problem they made a bunch of content and it's bad so you call it filler. That's all it is. I mean, I think they wanted it to be fun, and they just didn't do it right. You know, I mean, you can make, you know, I'm, I'm delving a bit into, like, fucking... Can't remember the word. Semantics. Uh, here. Wow. Wow. This is going on 20 minutes, isn't it? I'm delving into semantics here, but it's still, it's just, it, it's a pretty simple issue with Inquisition, I think, and you can solve it on your own, like, but you shouldn't have to, you know, like, if you want to stay in the hinterlands and hate the game, like, that's not your fault, it's the game's fault for not getting your ass out of the hinterlands in a better way and it really doesn't i challenge anyone to be like yeah i felt like i should leave the hinterlands it's like no you got frustrated with the game so you left that's what i did i think that's what everyone did and that's not good design certainly not worthy of fucking game of the year but you know i guess all terms are meaningless with relation to gaming so that's it. Here's your fucking let's not play, idiots. Let's not play Dragon Age Inquisition, but not really, because whatever, maybe it's okay, but you could just play any other game with a subscription fee, but oh, I guess it doesn't have a subscription fee. But they're going to get you on fucking microtransactions or some shit, so watch your pockets. Uh, Alright, bye.